Hi there, I'm Colin from ColinsABCs.com and I have a cooking project I'd like to share with you. It's making mini apple pies. So every year in the classroom I read this book, The Apple Pie Tree, and then we make mini apple pies. So you can make these apple pies with one child or a whole classroom of children, it doesn't matter. This book is great because it talks about um, apples and how they grow on a tree and what they need to grow and then once you pick them what you can do with them and what you can make them into okay so let me tell you all the things you'll need and then I'll show you how to make it so I always buy the Pillsbury Grands the flaky layers are super cool and I'll show you why the flaky layers work great for these apple pies I think Pillsbury just works all the time for me. I've tried other off brands, but the Pillsbury brand, for whatever reason, I can always make it work. So that's why I buy Pillsbury. You can buy whatever kind you want. I'm just saying this is what I always buy and this is what I use. So then it comes in the big, you know, roll. So I already took off the paper here and it comes in the big roll like this. And then I peeled one out. Okay. So this comes with, I believe there's eight in here. Yeah, eight big biscuits. So there's eight in here, so if you have more kids or less kids, you can um, just buy this package or buy a couple other packages. But the flaky kind is great because you can peel apart the layers. So you'll want to make them a little smaller anyway. So you may be able to make it last with just one. Okay, so here's one of them. Okay, and then I peeled it apart. So now I have a couple right here. So if you want, you can use this between two children and make it, you know, expand it, make it last longer. Okay, so I peeled that apart, so now I have two. You will also need, you know, a cupcake or um, um, sheet like this. Cupcake, you know, muffin tin, you know, like that, okay? And depending on how many kids you have, you'll want, you know, one or two, how many ever you need. And then spray them with some cooking spray. So just spray them inside so then it's easier to get them out. Okay, you want your kids to help you with this. Kids in your classroom, kids at home, wherever you are, you want them to help you, okay? Have them help you peel it apart. If you think maybe, you know, we're still working on those small motor skills, you go ahead and peel it apart. Now, what you'll want them to do is, of course, I'm holding it up like this. Have them put it down on a flat surface. And you can put a little bit of flour on top if you want, so it's easier for them to hold it so it's not so sticky. But have them just kind of pinch their fingers like this and make it a little bit bigger. So they're kind of pinching and pulling, a little bit. Not so that they get a hole, but a little bit. Now, when they're doing this, they're working those muscles in their hands, and that is awesome. It's a great small motor skill. Builds up those muscles for writing. Okay, so they're kind of pinching and pulling like this. So they're making it just a little bit bigger, okay? And then what you'll do is you'll take your muffin tin and put it inside the muffin tin. Push it all the way down. See that like that? Push it all the way down. Now if you want it to go up on the sides, go ahead and pull it up on the sides. It doesn't matter how they do it, okay? It's still going to taste great. Even if it doesn't look like what we think it should look like, it's okay. They're getting, it's all about the process they're going through, okay? And it doesn't matter what the final product looks like in the end, okay? So then it's all pushed down here. And then what we'll need are some apples. So you can buy the canned apples that are in that gooey, yummy, cinnamony flavor. You can buy those. That's yummy and easy. But you could also just buy an apple and you could cut it up, okay? I'm... I've cut up a little bit of some green apple because that's my favorite. I like that tart, yummy taste. But whatever your child or your children like, use that kind of apple because they'll want to get into it more and do it more. So I have a cutting board here and I have some apples on it. Like I said, I'm using green, but you could also use red. And what's fun too is when you cut open that red apple, cut it open this way and then look at it inside and you'll see that star that it makes. That's just fun for children to see that, okay? So cut that open, look at that star inside, talk about it. 
it's a fun project to work on so many parts of it. Don't just try and rush through it to get it done and get it in the oven. Talk about it. Cut up these apples, see how they smell. Are they drippy? What is it, what do you think it tastes like? Is it sweet, is it sour? What do you think is going on there? Okay, so then go ahead and cut your apples. Now, like I said, I cut this one in half and then I'm just gonna peel the skin off of it. So now I have a little slice like this, but I think when you eat an apple pie, it's hard to eat the slices like this, and especially for children. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut them into little pieces, and then we'll put them in the apple pie. Now, if you have children that like to help in the kitchen, I think helping in the kitchen is wonderful for children. If you have children that like to help in the kitchen, get them in there and have them stand up on a little ladder or a little stool or a chair or something and help with that. If you're in the classroom, put out some cutting boards, put out some little knives. I'll tell you about the knives in a minute. Put out some little knives, help them, stand over them, be with them while they're working on cutting and being in the kitchen and smells and oh, so many five senses are going on. Okay, so this is what I use, what I've used at home and what I've used in the classroom. You know those pumpkin carving knives you can find in the grocery stores or at Target or at Walmart, any of those places? Those work great. Of course, they're still knives, so they can cut your child. So help them. Work with them. Don't leave them with a knife and walk away. Stand there with them. This knife is a pampered chef knife. It's for children. It's a safety knife for children. If you're uncomfortable with it, don't do it. But if you're okay with it, do it. Do it with them. Hold their hand and so show them how to saw it and cut it. Okay, so we're gonna cut these. Make sure that make sure the apple's not like this when you give it to them to cut, because it'll be too hard for them. They'll just get frustrated and walk away. Don't make them frustrated. Let them let have them feel confident in doing it. Okay, and so help them lie it on its side. Don't lie it up like this because you know if you sit it up like this, it's rocky. But if you lie it on its side like this, then it's easier for them to cut. Okay? All right, so now we have our apples. So we have a whole handful of apples here, and it's just a half of an apple, a half of a half, actually, <laughs> a quarter of an apple. So, and then just put it in side. You're little. I'm gonna try and show it here without it falling. See right there? So there are all the pieces that they cut. Again, when they're cutting, they're working on small motor skills. And then to make it yummy and fun, I just sprinkle a little cinnamon sugar on it, okay? And then they can do this as well. Sprinkle a little bit on top, yum. Now if you want to make the apple pie a little more, you know, like an apple pie with little strips on top, you can use the other part of the flaky biscuit that you peeled off and cut it um, into strips. And again, you can have them help you with this or you may wanna cut it, it's a little wiggly when it gets cut. You cut it and then have them just kind of stretch it out and put it on top of your apple pie. Again, doesn't matter what it looks like. It's okay, it's all going to taste delicious. I hope you love this recipe and it's as yummy as it looks. <laughs> I hope you have a great time making it, bye.